Hello and welcome back to Technological Heritage. What I have in front of us today definitely pertains to the channel name, unlike the modern stuff I've been featuring recently. This here is, I want to say, a circa 1890s to very early 1900s light socket. And this came out of a basement of a building that was built in the mid-1870s, I want to say. And probably had electricity put in, probably in around the 1890s or somewhere around that. It's a mica insulator standard socket. And this was found apparently lying in the dirt under the stairs. And the people that own the building very kindly let me have it. Um, I think in their words they said something like, uh, might as well go to someone who would appreciate it rather than it rotting in the basement, which I can appreciate that statement. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to try to take this apart, see what happens. Um, it's a bit crusty. It does technically work. Uh, I'm not sure electrically, but mechanically. Clicks on, and it clicks off. And I know these have a, uh, a steel basically axle that runs through there, so if this was totally destroyed, then that probably would not turn at all. But you can see how humid it is down there. You can see the old screws. This obviously had a old porcelain fitting. All Old knob and tube wiring is down there. All disconnected, but uh, most of it's still there. Very cool. And not to get off topic, but I also found some uh, cool old light bulbs while I clean these up. They're burnt out, but Cool nonetheless, a GE Mazda, there we go, 75 watt, and a uh, Westinghouse Mazda. So those are cool. Without further ado, let's try to get into this thing. Got my WD-40 because we're going to need it. Okay. And that screw as well. And I'm going to let this soak in for just a bit. Okay. Now, let's see if these screws come out. <laughs> Very gentle here. Okay, that's coming undone. I do notice the paddle is splitting there. Probably is a bit of rust in this. The threads on that are in good shape, maybe it's brass. <laughs> you can see when the brass gets this crusty, here's the uh, light bulb basis. You know, it gets that crusty, you know, it's a pretty humid environment, and this has probably been down there since the 1800s, so no surprise there. Although some of that might just be uh, old varnish or something on there, or a uh, lacquer. Okay. And I think that's coming undone as well. Okay, well that's promising. Can't get my hopes up yet though, because I do, this uh, will come apart, I want to get it all the way apart. Let's see if this comes undone. And very gentle, the brass feels a bit thin. So let's see here. Getting movement. It's coming out. That's good. Might have to fiddle with this a bit off camera so I can focus on this because this isn't. It is a really old light socket that I don't want to mess up. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna make a jump cut. Hopefully the case won't be off. Okay, I think it's coming out now. Let's keep easing it out. There we go. Now, this grommet here looks like it's shrunk. It's a 
bit out of shape, so the wire's trapped there. I'm gonna see if I can uh, unscrew the wires from their contacts. Let's see if I can get this paper insulator off. And it's dry rotted, of course it is. I hate having to do this, but I'm probably just gonna have to crumble the paper away. So maybe I can make a slit in it. Let's see if I have a razor blade. Okay, I genuinely apologize for all the uh, jump cuts here. But there we go. Slit it and it came off. And let's see here. And yeah, this, this upper part. See the brass is just kind of falling apart. It's turned to copper color. It's unfortunately, it's a bit compromised. There's also a crack in that bite. I can repair those by uh, uh, bending it back into shape carefully and then putting some solder over it. Let's see if these screws come undone. Okay, that didn't take much force at all. And let's see here. <laughs> Look how crusty those wires are. Let's see here. Let's see if it comes off. Move the razor blade out of the way. <laughs> My uh, utility knife broke, unfortunately, so I just had to carefully use a bear blade. Obviously, don't do that at home. trying to be careful of here so I don't mess anything up with such a uh, nice old uh, light socket like this one. Here we go. And let's see here. Actually, I can do these old screws. I don't think they actually have a little retaining crimp on them, so you can just unscrew them all the way. And there we go. And that looks a bit rusty. <laughs> Have to screw out. There's your wires, and to be frankly honest, they don't look all that bad for uh, how rusty the rest of the socket is. Wires are rock hard, but the uh, the grommet wants to come unscrewed. That's kind of funny. But I might end up having to sacrifice the wire to save the grommet. Yeah, look at the old insulation. It's crumbling. Let's see here. See if there's any hope in this at all. That screw turns. This screw is turning. For these, the way you disassemble them, you remove this screw first. And your center contact comes out. There we go. that and oh well that came out your mica insulator will come out next and I think these kind of come out at an angle carefully like this This one looks to have already split partially. There we go. There's your mica insulator. 
Well, this one's different from the uh, ones I've worked on before. Also, ironically, internally in better shape, it seems. Let's see if these screws come undone. Yeah, that's turning. And so is that one. Wow. Well, let's see if they come all the way out. Okay. Yep, that one did. Without WD-40, too. I'm not uh, putting too much force on these, and they're coming undone, so that's actually really good. That's preserved. It looks like this one has a center little contact. Okay, so on these, that mica insulator makes a bit more sense, because on the ones I've worked on, that bit is usually here. Or no, it's usually turned 90 degrees. You have that contact coming up over for the center. You have that coming all the way through, and you'll usually be right here. So that is interesting. Yeah, this is pretty well preserved. I'd say the uh, part that's in the worst condition is the, uh, the shell. And, oh, well, that's the other part of the shell. And the uh, paddle, which is a bit split. Now, I'm sure uh, proper collectors of these things will probably wince when I say this, but I'll just uh, carefully fill that void with some super glue, and that will help reinforce that uh, to keep it from coming apart. But yeah, this is in really great shape for uh, its age and the conditions it was, <laughs> you can call it stored, where I could left in. Let me get this screwed back in here. So as long as this shell is intact enough to the point where I can fix it up, then uh, this will be a good light socket. If not, I have a later GE shell, although this has a, I have one of these that has a broken ceramic part that I glued back together, so I mean it looks the part, but you know, super glue, if you were to put like a uh, high wattage bulb and it would melt the glue and it would probably split apart. Uh, I usually use LEDs in this, I know. Blasphemy. <laughs> Just helps save on these contacts, which... That's also in pretty darn good shape, too. I forgot to mention that. This is... This probably had very little use. It was in the basement. So yeah, I'm going to... Straighten out those wires and unscrew the grommet. It is coming unscrewed. There we go. And it looks like the grommet is cracked. I'll see if I can save that. If not, then it's not the end of the world either. But I think the most important here, uh, important part here is the socket itself. The wiring's cool, obviously. But yeah, I'm I'm genuinely impressed with uh, how this thing held up, considering the extremely damp conditions of it. It was in dirt floor basement, just left for dead under the stairs. So yeah, that's 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 impressive. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Apologies if I made any of you uh, antique lighting collectors wince at any point in the video. Um, I'm doing my best here. Uh, and yeah, that should do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you at least somewhat enjoyed. I know this was pretty nice, especially because it actually worked out in the end. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you all in the next one.